Guys, I found a very strange Pokemon card box and it's obviously a clear box with some rainbow Pokemon cards within the box itself. However, when you flip it, you got weird looking ultra rare Pokemon cards. So let's go ahead and crack this open and investigate, shall we? What's good everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video! And in today's video, everybody, we have a clear box. Clearly, it is a clear box of Pokemon Ultras that are rainbow, you feel me? It reminds me of snow cones, my guy. That's literally what this reminds me. The color scheme of going into different colors. That's what it reminds me of, you feel me? But we're not here to talk about snow cones, you feel me? We're here to talk about Pokemon cards, and that's what we're gonna do, guys. So here we go, y'all. We're just gonna go ahead and crack right into it. The cards themselves literally look like they're melting, bro. Is it me, or the cards look like they're melting? Let me know in the comments down below, because that's what it reminds me of. So guys, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Make sure you guys smash that like button right now. If you guys love Scarlet and Violet, smash that like button right now because I am a huge fan of Scarlet and Violet. There is no new generation hate over here, bro. I appreciate all generations from one all the way to the present generation. I believe that's generation nine, right? Or are we already on 10? I'm pretty sure we're on generation nine. <gasps> Let's continue. But guys, I bought these boxes for $5. And yes, I said these boxes because I accidentally bought two. Bruh. I have no idea why I bought two of these boxes, but it just happened. You feel me? But we're only going to open up one of these boxes. So let's get it, man. Let's see if I can figure out how to open these. Give me a second. One eternity later. Alrighty guys, I figured it out. We got the plastic off the box itself. So let's go ahead and crack that open. Look at that. I actually messed with this clear case, bro. It's kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. But here we go, guys. Here we go. We got the case made in China. That's what it says, right? Yeah, it definitely says made in China. So here we go, guys. Look at these rainbow. Literally a rainbow, bro. Kind of similar to the other rainbow cards we opened up, but these have a different rainbow pattern. Look at that, bro. That is actually pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. But we're not here to admire the back of these Pokemon cards. We're here to investigate what these cards look like on the front because they look like they're melting. Here we go. We got the Meowth VMAX. Check that out, y'all. That is crazy. Okay, there is no texture. It is just a straight, smooth card, guys. It looks like it has texture, but it doesn't, bro. We got the Meowth VMAX. The Meowth Gigantamax, if you will. Here we go. Are these all just going to be classic, real Pokemon cards that are rainbow and melting? That's Ooh, whoa! Now, Ditto actually looked like he's melting, bro. Look at that. I'm melting out! No, no. But we got my boy Shiny Ditto VMAX in the cut. Oh my gosh. These cards look terrible, my guy. They actually look terrible. We got the Deoxys V-Star. Not only do they look like they're melting, they're super dark, super dim. Where is the brightness on these cards, bro? Look at that, bro. That is way too dark, my guy. We got the Toxtricity. It looks like all of these cards are VMAXs and V-Stars is what it looks like. We got a Dragapult. We got my boy Deoxys. And ooh, ooh. We got some heat. We got that Charizard promo in the cut. So we got the Charizard UPC promo cards. We got Charizard's on Charizards, on Charizards, my guy. Okay, we only had two Charizards, never mind. That is overreacting 100%. What else do we got, though? Just straight up VMAXs. Yo, my boy Pikachu. What is going on, bro? We got the Malamar. We got my boy Mewtwo. Look at that. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, I mean, you can obviously tell it's Mewtwo, but all these, like, swirls. I don't know what's going on with these cards, bro. They look absolutely crazy, my guy. We got another Ditto, but this time it's pink. I honestly prefer the blue one because it looks more brighter than this one. What else, though? We got that Venusaur Gigantamax. We got the Eevee Gigantamax. 
What else? Are these just all V Maxes and V Stars? That's what it looks like. Ooh, we got that black and yellow, black and yellow. Or black and gold, if you will, because that looks more like gold instead of yellow. It's like a golden yellow. Let's just leave it at that, bro. We got that Pikachu, that chunky Pikachu. We got the chunky Snorlax, the chunky Lapras, a bunch of chunky Pokemon. And we got the more Peckle that actually looks pretty chunky. Well, my boy looks a little more slim, but still th slim thick. Let's leave it at that. Let me stop. Let me stop. It's a Pokemon, Dark Ghoul. What is wrong with you, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Moving on, though. Moving on. We got the Rillaboom, Cinderace. We got some new generation Pokemon right there. We got the Magnet Zone. Okay, these are all existing V Maxes, V Stars that already exist. No crazy custom artwork, as you guys can see. Whoa, this one looks extra crazier for some reason. We got the Giratina. Okay, this one looks normal. This Togekiss actually looks normal. It does not look like it's melting compared to the other ones, bro. We got another Giratina, that one's made out of gold, and then we ended things off with the Hisuian Zorark, bro. So all of these rainbow cards are melting. Look at that, bro. They look absolutely crazy. Now I'm going to open this one up very quickly just to see if these are different or not. Here we go, guys. I got the plastic wrap off, well, most of it, and let's see if these are different or if they're exactly the same, bro. So it obviously starts off with a Meowth VMAX like the other one. Here we go. Okay, these are exactly the same, everybody. Look how weird these cards look, bro. Very, very difficult to read. Like, this Dragonite, what is going on, bro? So, these are the exact same cards. So, with that being said, guys, we pulled a total of 100 Rainbow Ultra Rare VMAX and V Stars. You feel me? Check that out. That is absolutely crazy. But before we end off the video, guys, we're going to play some Profit or Loss. Let's get it. With some real Pokemon booster packs, that is. And we're going to do it with this build and battle kit of Silver Tempest featuring Lugia. So y'all already know what that means, bro. We need that Lugia alt art. I have yet to pull it, bro. Literally. So let's get it. All right, guys. So this is everything you get within the build and battle. You got yourself a build and battle deck as well as four booster packs. And these build and battles pretty much retail for $19.99. So I'll put that somewhere on the screen. But we got ourselves four booster packs as well as this build and battle. So for all the bulk within the packs as well as the bulk within the deck and the promo card, let's just put that at $3. You feel me? Let's put all the value of all the bulk within the video and the promo card at three bucks you feel me because i'm not going to open this up i'm probably going to give it away on my instagram i'll put the link in the description as well as on the screen and let's get to the packs you feel me let's see if we can get what 70 more dollars is the goal to make a profit or break even here we go there's the code card guys let's get it man let's get it okay okay we're sleeping on the pools bro literally we are sleeping on the pools second pack is second pack the charm or the one i don't know bro i don't know where i was going with that here we go second pack second pack okay okay halfway through this building battle and we are down bad bro we are down bad everybody second to last pack come on okay okay Okay, it all comes down to this pack right here of Vulpix. Please, Vulpix. Okay, I believe with the black border, we got ourselves a hit, everybody. So let's do four to the front. I'm tripping. I am tripping. Let's get it. Come on. We got a fighting chance, bro. We got a fighting chance. We just got to get something absolutely crazy, my guy. We got the Fennekin, Sandile, Snowrunt, Noibat, Feebas. We got the Cookie Fish. Our reverse is a Radiant. Check that out. Radiants are not worth much, so we still need a lot of dollars to go. You feel me? But the final card is... Ha! Got him! I love my Swords of Justice, but... You let me down, Terrakion. You let me down, bro. You let me down. All we have is this Radiant Pokemon card. It's nice. Don't get it twisted. It is nice, but... 
it's not $20 nice. And yes, I know Pokemon cards is not just to make a profit. It's just a little game that we did for this second segment of this video, guys. So we obviously failed the profit or loss. It was a complete loss, everybody. But that's what I get for opening a build in battle and not something else, you feel me? Anything would have been better than a build in battle. With that being said, guys, let me know what you think about these rainbow V-Stars and V-Maxes. They look absolutely crazy. Definitely not the best bootlegs out there because of the art itself. It literally looks like there were like water painted, oil painting. I don't know what's the correct term of the art, but let's just say they look like they're melting. You feel me? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.